Hey guys, welcome back to Resonant Rise Part 4. Skimtastic Matt, as usual. And, uh, not much has been happening since the last recording, guys. It's been a little bit of mining. I'm getting bored of mining, so what we're going to do is we are going to make a tool forge. So, we're going to need some iron for that. I did have some ready. We need some iron, we're going to need some gravel, some sand, and some clay. Cool. Now, if you put one gravel, one sand, and one clay together, what's that stuff? Mix sand. That'll give you grout, and we're going to need about that much for now. We don't need that much really, but it'll do for now. Right, if you put the grout into a furnace, that will give you seared bricks. I hope. Seared bricks, there you go. So while they're cooking, guys, we're going to just quickly... I think we need... Do, 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 do four blocks of iron. Just like that. And then they're going to go just like that. Cool. And if I remember rightly, and there's a good chance I've forgotten something, the seared bricks go like that. <laughs> right, okay. Maybe you have to use seed blocks. I think you do. You do. Right, okay. Let's get the rest of these bricks. And it still doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> My memory failed me. Tool forge. Ah, I need a tool station also. Right. Okay, we can do that really quickly. Tool station. There you go. Ta -da! And that gives you the tool forge. Uh, the tool forge is just like the tool station, except it offers you more advanced tools. So you have the sledgehammer, the lumber axe, the scythe, the mattock, different types of swords and arrows and bows. So that's cool, guys. That's going to give us the sledgehammer. Now, we could go ahead and make a sledgehammer, probably, but I don't know. Let's see what we've got. We could make a stone one, I suppose. There's no arm in that. Just so you guys can see what the sledgehammer does. Ah, moving too quick. Okay. We're going to need a few patterns for this. I've probably got some patterns spare, but let's make four for now. And we're going to need some more cobblestone because it's very material intensive. So, where's the stencil table? We're going to need a sledgehammer head for a start, which is not that one. No, we need the creeper one. Just need one of those. And we need a sledgehammer head. We need a tough tool, which I think is. We need tough binding, I know that much. Well, I think we do. I might be wrong. <laughs> oh, there it is. Tough tool. Cool. I think they're the four that we need. So let's put them into the pattern chest. And go over to the part builder. To make the sledgehammer head actually takes eight, eight material costs. So that's, so that's cost eight pieces of cobblestone. It would cost you eight in ingots of iron and so on and so forth. I'm about to double check just to make sure I'm not making something I don't need. No, I didn't need the, the binding, but I do need the tough rod. Okay. So next we need to make two of the, the creeper face type boards, and they're also eight, so that would cost you eight ingots again. 
So, so far that would have cost you 16, 24 ingots so far. And finally the tough rod, Mikhail Cross is free. So that would have been 27 ingots to make a, a better version of it. Or you could cast it, which is the same thing. You, you'd use the smeltery mainly to do that. So let's just quickly put this together, guys, so you can see what I'm doing. And there you go, guys. That's a, that is the hammer. I didn't name it, but that's okay. And the way the hammer works is... Oh, where's the best place I can show you? Let's go down to the mines and have a quick look. And they've also given me a new book, which is Advanced Smeltery, whatever. Uh, where did I go? Oh, here's my mine. I've only just started the mine. So, with a, with a pickaxe, as you guys know, you you break one block, blah de blah de blah which is great. But, you know, it can be a bit tedious. So, if you use the hammer, which is a bit slow, it takes out nine blocks at a time. Which is really handy if you want to do a lot of excavating. Let's just keep going with this. See, it won't take up special ores yet, because it's only at stone level, but that can be upgraded to suit our needs. Perfect, because the redstone is like light. Cool. Excellent, guys. So that is the sledgehammer. There are other really cool weapons you can make in the forge, like the lumber axe, which I looked at in my monster video, which basically does the same thing, but with wood, it'll cut down all connected uh, wood logs. It's great for a manual tree farm. So there you go, guys. That is the, uh, the tool forge and some of its uses. Well, one of its uses, I should say. I should add, if you need to repair um, your tools, you just bring them over here and you put the stone in here and there you go repaired it's the same with the one we made the work pick with the diamond this takes cobblestone I think I counted it takes 15 pieces of cobblestone to fix this from nothing and that's a diamond pick virtually so that's really good um, if you wanted to add more modifiers to your, your pick let me, let me just quickly show you when I made the pick, I used just a, it's stone bound, so I used a stone head, a stone binding, and a stone handle. If you'd used a paper handle or a paper binding, that would have given you the ability to add one extra modifier. So that's that's something to remember. If you're thinking of adding a lot of modifiers, use a, a one paper part in it. I just made that these tools so far as just basic tools for us to use, but we'll go to advanced stuff eventually. I'm getting hungry. There you go. Right guys, as I have nothing actually planned for the rest of this video, which is very, very good of me, um, I think we're going to go and have a look where we're going to move, because I'm thinking, I'm done with living underground already. It's great for when you're starting out, when you've got a mining lot, but I want to build a house. So let's go and scout out an area, and hopefully, it won't be too far away, because we don't want to be moving too far from where we are, because of the mine. But let's go and have a look what we can find. And if it's boring, tough. <laughs> nah, I'm joking, guys. It won't be that boring. I'm sure there'll be stuff to do, things to pick up. Right, I should really make a um, waypoint so I remember where I am. Boom. Okay. If there's some flat area, we won't be going far at all. I don't want to build right in the forest. Um, I don't want to. Definitely don't want to go into the snow biome either. I have nothing. I hate the snow biome. So, or the tiger biome, or the tundra, whatever you call them. So, so it looks like there is going to be forest. Pretty much across the water, there seems to be a different type of forest. Let's go and check that out. Do, 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 I don't know why there's no Minecraft music. I don't think I've turned it down. Oh wow, it's making me dizzy. Sitting too close to my monitor. So there is a forest here, that's good. Oh, there's a nice little island here. Ah, interesting. So this will make a nice house, and it's got lots of witchwoods. There must be a witchwood 
Is that, well, I think it's, it looks like a witchwood. It is a witchwood. Do you know what, guys? I think we're going to call this home. That was quick, wasn't it? Didn't take up too much of your time. Me wandering around aimlessly. Oh, damn it. There's a lot, I've got a lot of trees to cut down, guys, so... I think I'm going to cut some of these trees down, guys, and I'll get back to you. Come back over to the cave. I basically, at um, our new home, I took all the trees down and leveled off a bit. So I've just come here to get some resources. And I'm going to head back now. So, yeah. I'm not sure what type of build I'm going to do yet. I had him. Um, I did have the. Oh, I left my food there. Never mind. Yeah, all right. Oh, I better cook some. I, I've d I did the, the old fashioned. Um, medieval sort of um, design on the spawn town. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with that or just do something completely different at the moment. Might be nice to do something completely different, but we'll see. Let's just get back there for now and then we can worry about it when we get there. It should be better though. I think there's a cut. I want to be outside because there's a few of the mods that would be nighttime, wouldn't it? There's a few of the mods I really want to do a bit more of. Galactocraft is one of them. I did Galactocraft before and I, did, I wasn't recording it, but it's, uh, it's something I want to do. So, because I've never actually done it properly. I did it. When it first came out, I did it in creative mode just to see what it was like on the moon, and it was pretty rubbish, to be honest. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah. And so I think I'd like to um, go to the moon properly, especially since this is a newer version of it. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Oh, what's he got? Glowstone pants on. He has too. I'm not in any fit state to fight at the minute. Where is this place? Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh yeah. Check out those mad skills. Right. This could get interesting, guys. We've both got pretty meaty swords. Nah, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh shit, there's a big hole here. Oh no, 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 no. Drop something good. Okay, they didn't drop anything worth having. Not that I'm going to go all the way down there and check, but there you go. See, we are victorious. We are the warriors. We are amazing, I guess. Where was I? Yes, Galacticraft. We're going to do Galacticraft and... Well, I may get in some help from some of the other guys in the server to help me with the mechanism mod. So that'll be interesting too, because that's something I've never done. So, And apparently it's really good. It's really good for refining ores. You get a lot more than the two you get from just pulverizing with thermal expansion. And here's the island, guys. Now treeless and flat and rather dull looking, but you know, we'll do something with that. When we get you guys, I'm just going to quickly show you what... Um, the chisel mod, and then we're going to call it the end of the video. It's quite a long one, this one. So, guys, I got a lot of cobblestone, and I don't want to waste money um, cooking it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use one stick and one iron ingot. That doesn't work anymore. Hmm. Chisel. Oh, does it have to be a, a, a non biomes of plenty type of thing you a job? Let's try. It does. There you go, guys. So now we have the chisel. And the best way to do this is, is you put your block in that you want. And it gives you all of these options, guys. I mean, it's, it's staggering, really. It gives you like 9, well, 8, 12, 15 different options compared to the standard cobblestone. And it works with all of them. Well, most of them, anyway. Even gravel. 
No, not even gravel. Even dirt. So there you go, guys. That is the chisel mod. Another thing... Oh, we'll look at that in the next video. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I'm going to decide which of these I want to use. He's a weird-looking guy. There's a villager this way. I'm going to end the video here, guys, just before I die. Now, let's just kill this guy. <laughs> he shouldn't be too difficult for me. Come on. Come on. I'm going to come all the way back this way in a minute. And there you go, guys. Next video, guys, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with all this rotten flesh we've got. Until then, guys, I will see you soon. Bye.